Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection. From the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean, we invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John 1, 19-25. This is how John appeared as a witness. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He not only declared, but he declared quite openly, I am not the Christ. Well then, they asked, Are you Elijah? I am not, he said. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, who are you? We must take back an answer to those who sent us. What have you to say about yourself? So John said, I am as Isaiah prophesied, a voice that cries in the wilderness, make a straight way for the Lord. Now these men had been sent by the Pharisees and they put this further question to him. Why are you baptizing if you are not the Christ? and not Elijah, and not the prophet. John replied, I baptize with water, but there stands among you, unknown to you, the one who is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal strap. This happened at Bethany, on the far side of the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Be like John. Make a straight way for the Lord. OMG, January the 2nd. Another year has passed in a flash. I am reading today's gospel, and in true Trini fashion, I am wondering why priests and Levites are so fast. Were the Pharisees asking because they were really looking for Christ? Or are they, like Herod, afraid of the loss of power that may follow? Given that it's the start of the year, I'm contemplating what I have accomplished over the past year and what I want to achieve in the coming year. Did I grow enough spiritually? Or am I, like the priests and Levites, doing what I was told to do, going to church, saying these prayers, giving to the poor, etc.? I pray that I truly dedicate myself to making time for the Lord this year as I continue to work on my spiritual life so that I may, like John, make a straight way for the Lord. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.